Well, I love the way he turns our values on their head, uh, in that um, Coward makes you admire a society, a maverick society of people who embrace flippancy above all, who behave appallingly, um, who really aren't kind of grown up. And he, he, we somehow get seduced into admiring their standards and wanting to be, at least for the evening, more like them than their rather sensible and respectable spouses that they've temporarily acquired. Um, and I think that's a wonderful conjuring trick. The interesting thing structurally about private lives is that after Act One, absolutely nothing happens, uh, which is pretty unique uh, in the annals of playwriting. So um, he actually uh, you know, keeps us engaged with non-event for two whole acts, and it doesn't feel like that at all. And the, the perfection of the middle act, which is a, just a two-hander, just two people, um, is that it's, it feels like improvisation. I mean, it ought to feel like improvisation um, because it's so spontaneous and because they bounce off each other's moods in such a connected kind of way. Um, and that's another great challenge for actors. So I think that's what I like about the play is it breaks all the rules and is still triumphantly successful as a piece of playwriting.